Travis Develop, Travis Development, as an AGM Gold Member. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Suzuki san. Thank you very much. Our uh, next speaker is uh, Xiao Ying Wang, the Chief Operating Officer at SunTech. Uh, today he'll be speaking on the learnings of using Linux in large-scale OEM IBI development. Please w welcome Mr. Wang. Reuse 
our software in the 64A. <coughs> so how to realize that? So to reuse source, legacy source, source code from the Windows C and the RTOS time? Yeah, it's kind of good reason because it can reduce the cost and reduce the development risk. But the source code written in that time, they are always the outdated technology, and especially the one from RTOS time. So many of the source code is written C and full of the bit operation. This kind of source code is very hard to, in, to deliver to the 64 bit. So we start this project, <coughs> we decide to use the upstream open source, especially for the competitive part. We are using open source. So, because most of the open source is 64 bit medium. And for the competitive part, we write all the source code with C program, which make, make it much easier to migrate to C program, uh, to 54 bit. And the other thing, in such a scale of development is cooperation among teams. So you can see this picture from. So although this is already a simplified version, <coughs> it still show many modules. And most of the modules, which is in room, are made in house. So you have 1,000 engineers work at uh, the same time, the cooperation among our teams and the party supplier are very important. Because in such kind of the project, everyone is facing a very challenging schedule and no one won't be stalled by others. So why planning this platform, we decided to use AGL and the Genevieve platform as a reference. So the layered and modular design are of a parallel, parallel development. So we create the HDK, PDK, SDK, so that the module in air layer and the service layer can be developed in parallel. And we implement application framework, which can manage the whole life cycle and application. So the development of the application can be independent. And the deployment layer of the applications become much flexible. So you can even, the application can even be downloaded from the application store even after the SOP of the car. So for the jet embodied applications, the module malfunction may lead to deadlock or even system-wide crash. <coughs> So we use the idea of the uh, AGL and the Genevis multi-process design. So we create Frank IDL using our own EBIP, IPC, uh, IPC technology, which one of us to the maximum extent to reduce the process, process problem. And with this framework, the process can work in parallel, which can take advantage of the uh, multi-core OS SOC, 
so that we graduate the whole work system forms a lot. And also the process is isolated. So, so we are in a real case where the process has some problem, it will not affect the others and make the system much stable. And many of you may know the most time consuming activity in the development is integrated. Integration. So six for the open source platform Jenkins. We build our own CI environment and it can run in test and create release. So we have 156 servers which can support uh, to do the unit test and the static analysis in every commit. And besides the unit test and the static analysis, so uh, we also provide functional test. We create over six million lines of test code, which can be executed every day. Also, for example, we create a, a knowledge database for the root calculation, so we can store the uh, most suitable roads into the database, and we execute the uh, test code every day compared to the to the to the one in the database. So in that way, the developer can be more confident to modify their code. Also Dropbox, 
for example, from him. Okay, good. Uh, to become very successful in uh, ultra scalable st startups, companies, and uh, also they uh, help self driving companies like Cruise Automation. Have you ever heard? Okay, they've been acquired by General Motors, and rumor says for more than one billion US dollars. And at the time, actually back in 2009, I decided to quit my job. I was working, actually, even if it doesn't look like I am Italian, I was born in Italy. And uh, <laughs> my parents moved to Turin, which is the Detroit of Italy. And he has like 40 years of automotive experience and transportation. I have 10 in the traditional, and then four years in the new mobility. And, uh, Back at the time, in 2009, I decided to quit my job. I was working with Giugiaro. Have you ever heard of Giugiaro? Should be like, uh, the number one design engineering company in the world. They make uh, the latest Lamborghinis, for example. Okay. Also, the Back to the Future car, like the Lauren. <laughs> but I was very, very, let's say, pissed off about the traditional industry because there's no real innovation. So I decided to move to Silicon Valley because I was very impressed of what was happening there. Like small niches, small companies becoming super big and ultra scalable like Google, Facebook, Twitter. And I, just, and I had the idea that the world from Silicon Valley of innovation, software, hardware, connectivity will merge with the traditional automotive industry. At the time, my colleagues, my dad, also my customers, thought that I was crazy. But now it's 